Welcome to Strength of Material Lectures by Civil Thinking and in this class we are going to solve a problem on how to find support reaction in beams using equations of equilibrium. Now in the previous class I have told you what are equations of equilibrium okay so whenever a body is in static equilibrium okay that means three equations can be applied summation f of x is equal to zero summation f of y is equal to zero and summation of moment at any point of the beam is equal to zero okay now in this problem we are asked to find the support reactions at a and b and we are going to use these equations okay these three equations equations of static equilibrium to find the support reaction at a and support reaction at b okay now as you can see a it is a fixed end with a pin okay so there will be two reactions okay so if you don't know how they are going to be two reactions and if you also don't know about these three equations please watch my previous lecture on equations of equilibrium and how to use them to find the support reactions okay so here will be two reactions so if i erase this i can draw a reaction here upwards upward reaction and I can also draw a reaction like this okay I can choose any direction upward or downward or left or right whatever if and when we solve this finally if we get the positive value means our assumed direction is right and if we get the negative value means we have to choose the opposite direction okay now anyways before solving these let us first fix the coordinate system let us let be this let this be x axis and let this be y axis and these two are positive okay it means if there is any force in this direction towards right in x direction it's positive if there is any force in y direction vertical direction and upwards it is positive okay and also i am going to use an assumption for bending moment if the bending moment is clockwise then i will take it as positive and if the bending moment is anti clockwise i am going to choose that as negative now here you can see this is a roller support and in case of roller support we only have one reaction okay so let me draw the reaction let us assume this to be reaction okay now this is this reaction is vertical in the y direction and it is at a so let me denote it with a y okay means reaction at a in the y direction and let me denote this horizontal reaction as a x reaction in x direction at a okay similarly i can denote this as by okay now let's apply these three equations one by one okay now first is summation of f of x is equal to zero now when we apply this equation on this simply supported beam what we are going to do we are going to sum up all the forces in the x direction and equate them to zero now how many forces you see in the x direction here only one right only this so I can write ax is equal to 0 okay now again I have to find ax I have to find ay I have to find by why because we are asked to find the support reaction at a b in the given beam okay I have to find ax I have to find ay and I have to find b y okay now I found the ax is 0 okay so whenever there is a zero force we just erase it okay we don't have to write it now let's find a y so we have applied summation f of x equal to zero now let's apply summation of f of y equal to zero okay summation of f of y is equal to zero now it means in this beam simply supported beam the summation of all the forces in the y direction and you can see here in the axis coordinate system the y axis is the vertical axis so I have to see all the vertical forces and sum up them to zero now you can see a y is upwards right now you can see here the arrow is upwards and here the arrow is upwards means it is a y is positive now b y arrow is upwards it is upwards means it is positive right a y and b y are positive okay so i can write summation of all the forces means i have to add up all the vertical forces means a y plus 
by what else now this 10 as you can see here it's upwards so it's positive plus 10 okay now before I move on I just make a little correction here it is 3 kilo Newton okay anyways plus 10 okay I have done this this and this now we are left with these 4 kilo Newton UDL and 3 kilo Newton UDL on this beam okay now you can see 4 kN it is acting downwards, 3 kN per meter it is acting downwards, okay. Now what is the total load due to this 4 kN? Now 4 kN is, is spread across, across 1 meter of span. So total load due to 4 kN is 4 multiplied by 1 which is 4, okay. So I can replace it with just one vector in the middle, okay. It is 4 kN. Now here the 3 kN per meter is spread across 1.5 meter span of the beam okay so the total load due to this 3 kN is how much 3 multiplied by 1.5 and how much is that that is 4.5 kN okay now 4.5 kN will act at the midpoint of this okay now the total length is 1.5 okay if I erase all of this so the load will act somehow here 1.5 divided by 2 okay let us say this is 4.5 kN right 4.5 kN and from here to here is how much 1.5 divided by 2 okay because the UDL was from here up to here so the net force due to the UDL will act in the midpoint okay and the midpoint of 1.5 is half of 1.5 right so half of 1.5 is 0 0.75 okay now now let's go back to the our summation of f of y equal to 0 in this beam we have already covered a y plus b y plus 10 now we are left with this 4 because 4 is against this vector right you see it is downward but it is upward so it is not positive right so it is negative minus Four, right now this one 4.5 it is also acting downwards okay opposite to our coordinate axis system so it is minus 4.5 right is equal to 0 okay now when we do 10 minus 4 minus 4.5 what we get we get a y plus b y plus 1.5 kilo Newton okay is equal to zero okay now let me keep this equation preserve okay because we are going to need this equation very soon okay this is equation one this is equation one okay remember this equation now let me erase all of this okay now we have already applied summation of fy equal to 0 and it gave us this equation okay now let us apply summation of moment at any point of this beam to be 0 let me choose you can choose any point let me choose b okay summation of moment at b equal to 0 okay it means the bending moments okay sum of all the bending moments at b is 0 now due to at b there will be a bending moment due to ay okay i have to add up the bending moment due to ay also the bending moment due to 4 kN also, also the bending moment due to 10 kN at B also the bending moment due to 4.5 at B and then I have to sum up them all okay now let us begin one by one Ay is going to exert a clockwise moment like right like this so it is positive because I have already told you the bending moment in the clockwise direction I have assumed it to be positive so it is a y multiplied by how much is the distance from a y to b because moment is load multiplied by distance now here is 1 it is 0 0.5 it is 1.5 okay and 1.5 so from here to here is 3 plus now let me choose this now this load is going to exert an anti-clockwise moment at b right like this so i'm going to choose it to be negative so minus 4 multiplied by 
how much is the distance between 4 and B now see 4 is acting at the midpoint of 1 meter it means half of 1 meter is 0 0.5 meters okay now this is 0 0.5 meters this is 0 0.5 meters which is 1 meter and 1 meter plus 1.5 meter is 2.5 meter okay it is 2.5 meters now we have also found the bending moment root 4 kN now let's come to another one now here it is 4.5 okay again 4.5 is going to exert an anti clockwise moment so i'm going to use the negative sign plus minus 4.5 multiplied by how much is 4.5 far from b 0 0.75 meters 0 0.75 right okay we are done with this two now plus now at b there will be a bending moment also due to this 10 kN. now 10 kN is going to exert moment like this okay means clockwise it is positive okay 10 load multiplied by distance how much is 10 far from b you can see here it is 0 0.5 meters far okay now summation of all the moment is equal to 0 so all of this is equal to 0 so when I simplify this equation I will get 3ay I have to solve all of this so let me solve all of this first we get minus 8.375 meters equal to 0 so from here we will get ay is equal to 8.375 divided by 3 okay now when we solve this we will get ay to be approximately 2.8 kilo newton okay now here we have found this ay so i can erase here ay it is 2.8 kilo newton okay so we also found the ay 2.8 kilo newton okay now we have applied all the equations okay now we are still left with by so how to find this now remember I told you this equation is very important which we got from summation of fi equal to 0 now when you put ay equal to 2.8 here okay when you put 2.8 kN here okay you will get by how much by will be minus 1.5 minus 2.8 and that is equal to how much approximately minus 4.3 kilo newton okay so we also have found minus 4.3 kilo newton is the by so we can replace it like this but here it is negative okay what does that mean it means we have initially we assumed the direction of vector to be upwards okay the reaction at b but it is not okay actually it is like this downwards okay 4.3 kilo newton okay i don't have to write negative 4.3 because negative means just the vector is opposite okay that is all the job of negative you don't have to write it again here minus 4.3 okay because i have changed the direction of the vector and i hope you understand this problem still still if you have any problems or doubt about this you can ask me in the comments and also don't forget to download the pdf of this video lecture the link is in the description and that's it for today. See you in the next class. Thank you.